Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Hurry up! Let's go. Where are you dressed like this going? Your father, of course. Haven't I told you that you are the prince, the heir apparent to this throne, the future king of Umuchu ancient kingdom? You should not depress royalty. Ah, what do you mean, Mom? I'm okay. Is there anything wrong with what I'm wearing? Everything is wrong with what you're wearing. Where is your tux? You don't have it. Oh, Mom, come on. I'm fine. I'm comfortable. Though. You're not comfortable. We're going to Ibu Gunaposo for our festival, who happens to be your future father-in-law. Mom, come on. Can we go already? I'm fine, okay? I, I love what I'm wearing. Let's go. We're late. What is wrong with my son? How many times will I tell him that he is royalty?
That's nice. <laughs> Sumptuous. Yes, mother. The food was made by one of my favorite maiden. Mm. Mm. <laughs> she must be a nice cook. Oh, yes. She is simply the best. Honestly, she's excellent. Mm. She's the only maiden in this palace that I can eat her food comfortably. Trust me, you know I don't eat trash. The way you praise her, she's more than a cook. Mother, she is simply inexplicable. Trust me. Uh, so, my prince, so, how has it been since you returned from um, the United States? So far, so good. All is good. Yes, it might be thing. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. You didn't bring up your marriage proposal to the princess at the dining. Why? I don't understand. Well, your marriage to the princess of Isugu kingdom is one of the reasons we came for Iwe Ugunabos this year of Fala Festival. Well, I don't think that is true. We came here because of your Fala, which is done and dusted. Yes, we are here for the Ofala and I also want you to remember that your union with the princess is very important. That is why we are here also. Mom, please. We came here because of your father and nothing else. Please, don't, don't start. Afame Funa, Clara is your betrothed. The earlier you understand that, the better for us. Are you blind not to have seen what the gods kept for you? She's graciously beautiful, elegant, educated, and above all, she's a blue blood. What else can you ask of the gods? Mom, we had a long day already. I'm really tired. Can we talk about this tomorrow? I'm happy you said we. We had a long day. Can we talk about this? Can you go to your room already? I need to rest, please. I'm tired. Good night, Mom. So how much do you know this girl? She's my schoolmate. Just a schoolmate. And you had the guts to bring her into my house? I don't... Shut! Just shut! Shut up! Abigail, shut up! Because you've got nothing reasonable to explain. You have the guts to bring a total stranger into my house without telling me? And what if something happens to her? Sister, you're taking this thing too serious, so... Nothing will happen to her. Now you listen to me. I don't want to see that girl in this house anymore after today. Do you get that? Hmm. How far do you? Good. Whatever you like. What did you just say? to perform my duty. Which is? The food cleansing, my prince. What do you mean food cleansing? My princess asked me to come wash your feet, my prince. The princess told you to come wash my feet? Yes, my prince. 
What for? Well, my prince, before any royal blood steps out of the bed each morning, he or she undergoes foot washing, which is our custom and tradition, my prince. <laughs> Wait, um, you mean in this 21st century, you people still undergo the, the should I call it, barbaric act? It is a tradition, my prince. <laughs> it's funny though. Okay. So, how do you want me to do it? You, you, you want me to step out or something? Yes, yes my prince. with so much humility. My prince, I'm only doing my job and I have to do it right. I can see you're enjoying the feet washing. You sent her to come wash my feet. Why then are you complaining? You. Get out. Okay, okay my princess. What's the meaning of this? Meaning of what? Why did you send her to come wash my feet? Oh, please. Who will be coming around, Your Highness? Oh, that is very nice of you. <laughs> so, how is Sumuchi Kindo? Hmm, very well. So far, so good. Everyone is doing very well. As you already know, no king ascends the throne without a queen. The prince's coronation is next online and the royal family is doing everything possible to make sure that he takes a wife before his coronation day. That is the right thing to do. You know, we must always respect tradition, okay? Thank you. So, when are our children getting married? <laughs> Soon, if I may say. If we, in all honesty, I can't wait to see these children come together as one. Like I told her already, I can't wait to have her come live under my roof as my daughter-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> that is the dream of every parent. Yes. By the way, where is the prince? That reminds me. Princess? Um, where is the prince? He should be outside, Father. Wow. Oh. I see. So, I am very glad that uh, you have promised to come. My pleasure. You are continuing the legacy yes. between your late husband and I. Yes. And that is great. Thank you, Your Highness. You know. Thank you. Bride in your paradise Makes you foolish in another man's world Bride in your 
a paradise Makes you ugly in this beautiful world You better be humble, 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 humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last Be humble, humble. You gotta be humble, 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 humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last Hafam, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing really. I'm just looking around. I can see you're enjoying the ambience of this place. Oh yes, it's quite peaceful. Yeah. My father, His Royal Highness, and your mother discussed about our marriage. I said something and you're just going to keep calm? What do you want me to say? Say something. Well, I don't know what to say. You are just so unbelievable. Excuse me. Let me stop here. Okay, okay. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Please take good care of yourself. And you too. Fever, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I know it's not your fault, alright? But I'll be fine. Are you I'll sure? Be very sure, I'll be okay. Come here. I'm so sorry, please. Came back. Yes, my prince.
I saw you the other day, seated and you were looking like someone that is thinking about something. So tell me, you're thinking about that guy. Which guy? Hey, you don't want to tell me. I don't I don't know what you're talking about. You don't want to tell me. You know me, Nanek, I will find out. I will find out. I don't know what you're talking about. So. This is my friend. This is my friend. I can see you all are busy with your chores. Yes, my friends. Okay, so a uh, quick one. I'm looking for this particular meeting that comes to clean my feet every morning. That must be Oloma, my friends. I don't know, maybe Oloma, but she, she comes like every morning to, to clean my feet. Uh, she's dark in complexion. I have been looking out for her since morning, but I haven't seen her. Is she all right? Yes, my prince. She doesn't always pass the night in the palace, my prince. Oh, really? Why? She has a sick mother to attend to, my prince. Oh. Okay. Can can you can you take me to their place?
I'm begging you. Give me money. Hey, Oga Paul, I don't have money, but I promise once I am paid in the palace, I'll bring your money to you. Please help me, please, Eva. That was exactly what you told me the last time. Oh, please, I'm begging you, please, please, please save my money for me, please. I will pay you. I will pay. You are owing me two thousand one hundred and fifteen naira. I know you remember. Oga Paul, I will pay everything. I will pay everything. I promise you, please. Please just say more for me, please I'm begging you, please. If you like, your mother can die fat. I don't want. See, I have the hella here, but I won't give you. So that's it. So no need of lying to me. Oh no, but please, my mother, oh my mother, please say more. Oh no, but that's the hella here, please, 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 I'm begging you. Oh no, please, that's the hella here. Oh, mind yourself.
The one who bought the inhaler for you, Ogapo refused to sell to me because of the last one he gave me on credit. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you, my son. You're welcome. Ma. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you're you're okay now. I'm a lot better. Okay. Thank you for saving my life. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming to, to help us when we needed it the most. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Thank mm -hmm. you so it's much. It's okay. You don't need to thank me. It's fine. I'm, I'm glad she's, she's okay now. Thank you so much. It's I really fine. appreciate it. It's fine. It's fine. You don't need to thank me, okay? You don't need to thank me. It's fine. Sorry, Mama. Thank you so, so much, my prince. Mama. You've just been a great relief to my mother and I. I am so grateful. Thank you, my prince. You're welcome, but you don't need to thank me. Okay? I did what needs to be done. Humanity's sake. Hmm? One minute. You're going to need this. My prince, I can't take it. I'm sorry. Oloma, you're going to need this. At least for your mother's medication. If there's anything, don't, don't forget to call me. This is for my heart, okay? Olo, please take it. The prince is right. Hmm? You can keep it for your outstanding debts. And you can also keep the rest. For your mother's inhaler, please. Hey, you don't have to say no. Mm -hmm. You're going to need it. Thank you, my prince. You're welcome. So call me anytime, okay? Clear the debts and get um, the medications you can. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. It's okay. Bye. My princess. 
You look worried. What is the problem? Father, Prince Afam is not in the palace. Where could he have gone to? He doesn't know anywhere around my kingdom. That's exactly what uh, the princess is just informing her. I wonder where he could be by now. He doesn't know his way around this civil kingdom. Uh, my queen, just calm down. You know he's a young man and uh, he would want to explore my kingdom to satisfy his curiosity. So I suggest we exercise some patience and uh, await his return. Father! Igwe, I, I know my son too well. He doesn't keep late nights. He's not the outing type. Uh, but my queen, it's just 7 p.m. Huh? My princess, relax, okay? You'll be back. Relax, okay? My princess, smile for me. <laughs> Calm down, eh? I'm just a little nervous. I know, I know. Just calm down. Because of his security? Let me see if I can get him on phone. You know this young man. Sis. I still cannot comprehend why you find it difficult to help your fellow human being. I'm not um, as bad as you paint me, but I am more concerned about the kind of people, the strangers you help. Like I told you before, Favor is my schoolmate. This particular girl we're talking about has helped me in the past. Why can't I do the same for her? Abigail, that is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the kind of strangers you bring into the house. You can do other things to help strangers, but bringing a stranger to live with us in the house... Favor not right. is not a stranger, sis. I have known her for ages. I'm done talking about this. This is what you always say, but not to worry. Very soon I'll get my own apartment. You won't tell me what to do. Hello. My princess. How long has the prince been out? My princess, I don't know. Shut your trap. What do you mean you don't know? Tell me, what do you do in this palace aside carrying this knife and standing there like a log of wood? I'm sorry, my princess. Are you not supposed to be the chief guard of this royal palace? Now tell me, why didn't you go with him? I'm sorry, my princess, but he doesn't want any of us to go with him. Oh, shut up! Shut up! You are so incompetent. Get out! Leave my princess with me! Leave my princess by forgetting my heart to your face! Humble, you're not the first, you won't be the last. Oh, yeah. Be humble, be humble. You gotta be humble, humble, humble. humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last. Be humble, be humble. Oh, oh, yeah. It's not how long. Oh, yeah. But how well has it been? How good can it be? Will you make me mad for no reason? Oh yeah. Can I depend on you? Oh oh. Bright in your paradise. 
makes you foolish in another man's world. Bride in your paradise, slow it down. Alpha Mifuna, where have you been since morning? You left the royal household worried about you. But I'm back now. You're back now? Yeah, that is what matters. So that's the explanation to it, yeah? That you left since morning and we've all been worried about you. Well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, excuse me. I won't have you keep working out on me. Alpha Mifuna. Bride in your paradise Makes you foolish in another man's world Bride in your paradise Greetings, your mother. Greetings, my prince. Where have you been? Greetings, mom. That doesn't answer my question. Where in the God's name have you been and why are you returning by this time of the night? I went out to see a friend. Did you say a friend? A friend in Isubu Kingdom? Afam, what friend are you talking about? And who is this your friend that made you leave this palace and you're returning by this time of the night? Mom! Answer my question! With all due respect, Mom, I am the heir apparent to the throne of Umuchi Asian's kingdom. So? I deserve some respect! Excuse me! Um, my queen, please calm down. Like I told you, He's a young man and he would want to explore my kingdom to satisfy his curiosity. He's here now, so... Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Good night, Your Majesty. Good night, Mom. Excuse me. My queen, calm down, okay? Calm down. It's a young man, and uh, you know this young man, okay? Clara Kotze demands that you knock before barging into someone's room. You've suddenly forgotten that this is my father's palace and I can assess any room in this palace the way I deem it fit. I see. So can almighty princess Clara give me some privacy? Who did you leave this palace to see? Male or female? Margaret Tasha, do you know your problem? Pride and arrogance. Call it whatever. I don't care. But one thing is straight is that I'm not going to share you with anybody. Clara, your possessive attitude is becoming intolerable and it's beginning to get on my nerves. If you don't mind, can you kindly leave my room? I need to rest. I just got back. Well, I will leave. But I will see you tomorrow morning before you leave to Umochi Kingdom with Her Majesty. Bride in your paradise Makes you foolish in another man's world Bride in your paradise Makes you ugly in this beautiful world You better be humble, humble. Humble, humble, you're not the first, you won't be the last. Be humble, 
You gotta be humble, humble, humble. humble. You're not a fast, you won't be the last. Be humble. I'm going to miss you greatly. Am I really going to see you again? Of course. You will. I'm going to give you my number and my home address. You can call me anytime you want. Anytime you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. I want you to take care of your mother. I love you. to be scared. I'm here for you. And surely I am going to come back. I believe you. You light up my world. Meeting you has been has been the most pleasurable thing I have ever come across. I want you to know that I'm here for you on a time and a day. You are in my heart forever. So you don't have to be scared. Under the sun, under the moon, just call up my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the season, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Your Highness, yes. we have to run. Mm. My queen. I must express my appreciation for your diminished fit to attend my father and also spend some more days with me in my kingdom. <laughs> it shows that you care. What else, your highness? The relationship has been there from time immemorial when my late husband was alive. He was your best friend. Oh, yes. Igwe Bernard Abodike. He was a great icon. May the spirit of our ancestors grant his soul eternal rest. He say. We thought it wise that coming together of our children in marriage will help cement the relationship we have over decades. You are very correct, my queen. <laughs> As a matter of fact, um, Igwe Bernard and I made a very wise decision. You must agree with me, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and they look good together. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. Your Majesty, I must thank you for the hospitality. Um, we really, really appreciate it. You're most welcome, my prince. And uh, I'm happy that uh, you enjoyed yourself in my kingdom. Thank you. Thank you. My prince.
What did he just say? Why should you have a look in here? What? And as it is now, it has spread in every part of your body. I'm afraid it cannot be controlled anymore. Doctor, does it mean I'm going to die? Is it what you mean? No, you are not going to die. Because I'm not God. You are not going to die. But from my medical findings, um, you still have some months to live. Months? Doctor, months to live? How long do I have to live? Doctor, please tell me. Calm down. How long do I have to live before I die? Children, just talk to me. Tell me. Don't hide anything Ten from months me. Ten precisely. Ten months. <laughs> Calm down. Okay? Calm down. Ten months. <laughs> Calm down. There is nothing impossible for God. Ten months. Doctor, I want to beg you of one thing. No, I heard. No ear must hear of this. Let it be between us, not even my husband. I don't want him to know about this. Well, I can assure you your wish will be done. After all this, I guess the ethics of my profession. Revealing my patient's secrets to another. So, Thank you, Doctor. I promise you, your secret will be safe. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Stop crying, okay? Believe in God. He is your strength. Happy to meet you in good health. Oh, <laughs> we thank the gods. <laughs> you know, it was just last night that I said to my beautiful self, Clara, why don't you pay your future mother in law a visit? And guess what? Here I am. Oh. Here I am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're welcome, darling. Thank you. <laughs> 
So mother, you are looking so ageless. Wow, you're looking so beautiful. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, so tell me, how is your father? Oh, he's doing just fine. An entire royal household of Isugu Kingdom. Everybody's doing just fine. <laughs> Please wait, I need to get refreshment. Nonye, is anyone there? Yes, my queen. Greetings, my queen. Greetings, my princess. Refreshment, please. Okay, my queen. Oh, mother. Where is our um, princess Urena? She went out with a friend. Oh, I see. So, how is my gorgeous Clara? Oh. My future wife. Oh. My future daughter-in-law, <laughs> Doan. <laughs> oh. oh, as you can see, mother, I'm doing just great. Mm, you look fabulous. I know. Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to have you living with us. Oh, I can't wait as well, Mother. Thank you so oh, much. <laughs> Listen to my tales of words. How do I tell my husband that I have only few months to live? Ten months to live. God. I now live in anguish and fear that I will soon be gone. I, Teresa, just look at me. That I will die very soon, God. God, why me? Why? Why is this happening to me, God? Why? What else can kill a man fast than the consciousness of dying, staring at him 
in the face. What else? Hey! What a world! What a world! Hi! Why me? God, why me? Hi! Oh, what a world! Stacy, what seems to be the problem again? I thought I have told you to leave everything in the hand of God. What is the problem? For how long? For how long? This is 18 good years, not 18 days, not 18 months, but 18 years. One, two, three, four, till you reach 18. I was unable to give you a child and you said, I should not complain. Am I complaining? Tessie, am I complaining? Is that reason why you want to kill yourself for nothing's sake? Eh? Please. Please. Stop thinking. Stop all these lamentations. Please. Yes. Let us wait for God. God's time is the best. Please. <laughs> Nika, there's something that I, I noticed. Okay. Guru, like his normal no, his recent attitude and character towards you recently. It seems like he's in love with you. Hey, shut up! Hey! I don't blame you now. Eh? Because I'm in the same palace with you, you will open your mouth and say rubbish. Me, Neka. Okoro, like... Uh-uh, I don't want it. I'm Please. telling you that Okoro is... Who is that? It's not Uloma. What is wrong with her? Uh -uh, what could be the problem? I don't know. You put her back to her hand and she let me find out. She is supposed to do it. Hold on, ma. Hold on, ma. Hold on, ma. Hold on, ma. Are you fine? Yes, I am fine. Are you sure you are fine? I'm fine. Oh, come and sit. <sighs> oh, Mama. You are pregnant. Me? No. I'm not pregnant, so. Pregnant? No, 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 no. <laughs> You're not pregnant. Okay, tell me. Have you seen your flow for this month? No. Oloma, you haven't seen your flow for the month. Today is 30th. Minty, it is the last day of this month. It's true. Hey. Okay, maybe tell me. When last did you see your flow? Hey, that was two months ago. Ah! Hey! Uloma! And it didn't occur to you that you could be pregnant? Hey! Hey! 
Hey! Hey! Who is responsible? Don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You don't know who got you pregnant? Hey! Tell me who is responsible? Mika. It's Prince Afam. Goodness gracious! You're in trouble. Me too. Maybe he's not pregnant to you. What do you mean maybe he's not pregnant? You didn't see your people now. Bead had to do with this place. I don't know. I don't know them. She said I should look for a bead. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, did you see Uloma? I'm looking for her. No, I haven't seen her around. Okay, I will go look for her. Okay, but as baby, is this something I need to know? What is the problem? Eh? Something like what? Uh uh. Oh yeah, sir. Something like what? Oh. There is nothing. No problem. Okay. the early signs of pregnancy. See, you have to take paracetamol. Hmm. I've taken already. You have? Mm. You'll be fine. Huh? Phone too? Yes, oh no. I brought this phone so you can have means of contacting the friends. So you will be aware that you're pregnant. Oh. Nick, I think I should call him. Oh no. You have to call him. See, very soon you start having prostrating tummy. And when that happens, the king will find out about it. And you will leave him with no option than to sack you. Hey. That's true. Hey. Okay, um. Do you have the prince contact so I can call him? Mm. Mm -mm. I don't have it off hand, so. Is it my bag? Oh, okay. Why? No, 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 Hey! Hey! I'm finished though. I'm finished. Neka, try it again, try it again. Try it again. 
Mama, life without you has been meaningless. It is a colorless existence. Mama. Mama. Mama, you died, rich. Give me reasons. Reasons to leave. But I failed you. I could not even take care of you. I could not take care of you. The reason you died. With asthma. <laughs> Mama, life without you is not the same. Life without you is not the same. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
Uloma, we the palace servants have come to a resolution that you go in search of the man that got you pregnant. What? Nek, I trusted you. How could you? Uloma, no need freezing in shock. They are all aware of what is happening. Yes, Uloma. We know everything. And such to that, we have decided to help you. So you can go and search for your destiny. Uh, listen, Uloma. We all are happy that at least one of us are leaving the palace to better her life. So, don't worry. We'll be praying for you, okay? Mbadiwe. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't get it. See, Uloma, my friend. We... We donated for you. We, the servants and the donated this money. From our little salary. So you can travel to Umuchi Kingdom to look for the prince. I know it's very small, but please accept it. I appreciate Uloma. What, what are you trying to do? Give me my own money. She didn't take the money again now. Uh, give me my own share. She will take it later. My friend, give me my own share, John. But you will calm down now. What are you trying? But you will come. I will. Eh? What, what do you want to do? Hey, give me my own share. Hey, give me. Hey, what are you doing? I'm on. Don't count it now. I know how much I give you. Hey, you go, man. I know you don't want to donate that money for her. Leave this. Leave this. Leave this man. Ah, ah. Come on, come. Come. Under the sun, under the rain, just call on my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Yeah. Love me. Oh, love my man. How much? Four hundred. Ah, ah. Oh, it's three hundred. Four hundred. Who is it? Four hundred. Ah, three hundred. No money now. Four hundred. Four hundred. So make a report. Four hundred. Hey. Uh, hello, hello. Don't worry. Oga, use my honey now to complete it. See you. Under the shirt now. Under the rain, just call on my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just
just reach out for me, I'll be there. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. My name is Oloma, a royal maiden from Isugo Kingdom. Please, I am here to see the prince. Prince? Oloma, whatever thing you called yourself, do you actually know who you came to see? Yes, yes. Prince Afam. Prince Afam. Young lady, who you came to see is the next king of Omochi Eshet Kingdom. Yes. Please, sorry, please. C can you help me tell him that Oloma from Isugo Kingdom is here to see him? Please. All right, just wait here. I'm coming. Thank you. Under the sun, under the moon, just call up my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the season. Just reach out for me, I'll be there Baby, you're the center of my world With all due respect, I wouldn't love my daughter to just go like that May I call you back? Maybe in a lot time It's okay. Okay. Speak. Greetings, my queen. There is a royal maid from Isugo Kingdom. She said she's here to see the prince. For what? I wouldn't know, my queen. How many care? Yes, my queen. Fetch her. Okay, my queen. Ask me to call you. Thank you. Very well. Who are you talking to, mother? Oh, Emenike. He said that someone is here to see your brother. Someone? Hmm. I told him to summon the person in. Okay. Hmm. Look at my nails. I'm thinking about going okay. to... Greetings, my queen. Are you the thing looking for my son? Mother, shut up. And you? Why are you looking for my son and what do you want from him? 
My queen, my name is Uloma. I never asked for your name, it is rather inconsequential. My, I, I... You what? Princess baby, my queen. Lie! You lied. What nonsense. Who paid you? You are paid to blackmail my son. How much? My queen. Nobody paid me. Shut him out. I know my son. The prince of Umuji Ancient Kingdom, the heir apparent to this noble kingdom, will never stoop so low to your likes, let alone get you pregnant. He can never sleep with a pig like you. You're a gold digger. You want to reap where you did not sow. Now you listen. I do not want to see you anywhere near this palace again. Dead or alive, else I will chop off your head and feed your flesh to the vultures. Emenike! Emenike! That's my queen. Try this thing out. Hey, Get that queen! Please, I do not! My queen! Yes. I don't want to see you back to the start. I don't want to see your face. Just go very far away. I just want to stop. Please, I just want to. Come on, go there. I told you, don't come back here. You want to. I don't want to hear back of you. Let's go. I've warned you. I won't warn you again. But I will take because of you to lose my job. are very angry right now but calm down situations like this do not be in a haste in drawing a conclusion you never can tell mother anything can happen anything at all yes i would rather suggest we call prince on the phone to know if she's telling us the truth or not she's mad out just shut up nobody now pass Nobody get a destiny of another in our hands. Nobody be God. Oh. Please consider before you decide. Oh. Remember, nobody has it all. Nobody knows it all. Mother, mm -hmm. you surprised me. A royal maid of Isupu Kingdom traveled all the way to this palace to claim that your son put her in a family way. And all you could do is to sit here, act as if nothing happened. I don't give a root about her. 
No. Because I know that Asame Funa, my son, can never be responsible for that bastard she's carrying. That is, if she's with a baby. Mother, you are not too sure. Mother, please. I want you to call Afami Funa on the phone. Call him on the phone to ascertain the authenticity of her claim. That's all I want you to do. Please, Mother. Do you expect me to believe that cheap lies? Do you? Mother, you remember you told me how Afami Funa left Isiupu Kingdom only for him to come back you're obstructing my view. Talk, I can hear. Mother, mm -hmm. have you forgotten you told me how Afamefuna left Isiopo Kingdom? Only for him to come back at night and claim that he went to see a friend? Yes. Mother, I insist you call him on the phone. Call him. I do not even know where my daughter is. Whether she is dead or alive. I've been married for many years now. And unable to give a child to my husband. The only one I have. I don't know her whereabouts. What sin did I commit? What is my offense? God, please. Whatever it is, please forgive me. In any way that I have offended you, God. I beg you. Forgive me. Forgive me and have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. At least let me see my daughter. Let me know her whereabouts. Hi. Oh, my daughter. God, forgive me. Forgive me. Let me just see my daughter, if only for once, before I die. Oh, God. Let me see her. When love is fed on bread of sorrow, let it be. Just let it be. This love I see. Just let it be You can't stop the rain Just let it be Oh, you can't stop the sun Just let it be Just let it be Just let it be. I thought I told you never to return, dead or alive. I am going to deal with you decisively. Mother, please. Take it easy with her, please. Haven't I warned you never to interfere in this matter? And you? Are you deaf? Why are you still standing there? My queen. Please. I have nowhere to go to. That was why I slept at your gate last night. Please. I'm so sorry for disobeying you, but I don't have anywhere to go to. Money! My queen, you called me. Go to my chamber. In my room. Get the money in my left drawer. 
Okay, my queen. Go back to your kingdom. I do not want to see you ever again. Listen, my son will never marry you. He can never marry a nobody. Now leave. Let the body know they talk. Let the body know get a choice. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Be mindful what you wish. Come back here. I know be God. I know be be God. Be careful what you wish for. Take this money. Careful what you wish for. Oh, hi. Show some love. That's my favorite. Nobody know pass. Nobody get a destiny of another in our hands. Nobody be God. Oh. Please consider before you decide. Oh. Remember, nobody has it all. Nobody knows it all. Oh, man, not be God. Oh. Man, not be, be God. Oh. Be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for. When love is built on bricks of sorrow. When love is fed on bread of sorrow Let it be Just let it be This love I see Just let it be It can't stop the rain Just let it be Oh, you can step the sun Just let it be 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 When love is built on bricks of sorrow When love is fed on bread of sorrow Oh yeah Just let it be Good day Good day I know this face. Yes. Don't you recognize me? I guess you have a short memory. Let me remind you. I am the lady you helped in paying a balance at the park. It's your good park. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot. I remember now you had 300 naira and... Uh, you paid 100 naira for me. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. You, you stay here? Yes, I, I do. I have in this kingdom. I teach at um, the Manchester Secondary School. Oh. Lest I forget, thank you so much for that day. Thank you. It's nothing. Can I ask you a question if you don't mind? Why do you always put on this um, gloomy face? The last time I saw you, you were still wearing this face. Is everything okay? Did you lose somebody? You know you can talk to me, right? Why are you crying? I didn't lose anybody. It's okay. You can talk to me, please. What is it? 
I got sweet tongued by one young man who took my virginity to. For real? And I also got pregnant in the process. You pregnant? I left Isiogu Kingdom down to Muchi Kingdom to look for him, but up until now, I have not seen him. Are you serious? Yes. I went to the palace to look for him, but he was nowhere to be found. I, I think I'm lost. What business does this young man have to do with the palace? Talk to me. He's the prince of this kingdom. What? The, the prince? And right now I am homeless. I don't have anywhere to go to. I'll be roaming the streets. It, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Let, let's go inside so we can talk more. It's all right, okay? It's fine. Let's just go inside. It's okay. of Isugu Kingdom is here, Princess Clara, and she's here to shop. Please, can you people step out for 30 minutes for her to shop, please? Excuse me, madam. What nonsense are you talking about? Is she God? See, you don't know what you are saying. Hey, young lady, watch your tongue. No, she needs to be accorded the respect because she's the princess of Ash. Keep it alone. We are talking nonsense. We all come from one kingdom or another. I will never shop in this supermarket again. She's just arrogant and her doom is imminent. Excuse me. Bride in your paradise Makes you foolish in another man's world Bride in your paradise Makes you ugly in this beautiful world you better be humble, 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 humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last. Be humble. So I should leave, I should leave everything in mind because of an ordinary princess. Who does that? Eh? Is that how you people treat customer here? Yeah? Sorry for yourself, don't tell me that rubbish. Don't tell me that nonsense. I will never return in this place again. Because of who? You're asking me to leave this place because of. I will never come back to this place. You're sorry for yourself. My princess, you can come in now for your shopping. Bride in your paradise Makes you foolish in another man's world Bride in your paradise Makes you ugly in this beautiful world You better be humble, humble, humble you won't be the last Be humble 
you gotta be humble, humble, humble. humble. You're not a fast, you wanna be the last. Be humble. You again? What is it? What is it? What kind of stupid question is that? Open this gate, my friend! Young woman, don't you know here is a palace? As in the palace, there should be a serenity. Are you mad? Are you stupid? Will you open this gate now? Shut up your mouth! Listen, there will be no peace in this palace because your stupid so priest Amam has murdered priest, so I can't open this gate! Stop, stop that, man! Yes, my queen! Okay, my queen! And who is this musician? Shouting by Sorry. the gate of Omochu Royal Kingdom. Like a mad dog that she is. You can call me whatever you like, your majesty. But please, go in there and bring out your son. He must take responsibility for his action. And you? Haven't I warned you never to return? Now pick your mad friend and get out of here before I have both of you detained. With all due respect, leave me alone. We are going nowhere until your son comes out. Surprisingly, my son is not in the country. So, take your stupid leaves and get out of this compound before I have both of you detained for good. And I've told you, no matter how hard you push it, my son can never marry you because he has a fiance. Oh, spare me that nonsense, your majesty. Excuse me? Didn't your son know that he has a fiance before laying her down? Watch your thong, young woman. Do not call the prince of Umuchi ancient kingdom names. Prince of Umuchi, my boots! Your majesty! Like I said earlier, go in there and bring out your son so he can take responsibility for his actions. Hey, Manike. Yes, my queen. Lock the gate. Okay, my queen. I will teach you how to take this. Come here, come here, come here. She lies with her cold army. We are going nowhere. I stand for the truth and the truth must be very. Hello. <sighs> I need your man. Huh? Right away. Hey, listen. I will teach you how to take responsibilities and what trespassing is. Hey, please, we are going. We are going. We are going where? We are, we are, we are going where? Can you stop it already? Stop it! Please, Wait, just stop. No Please, we are we're already going. We're already going. Oh. No hey, will you stop? She can't do nothing. Listen. 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 Just, just, just listen to me. Listen to me. Hey. Listen to me. Can you stop it already? Stop. Hey. The truth must prevail. What you think is justice? Can you stop? Do you know what your tears? Hey. Stop crying. Hey. Yes, my queen. Open the gate. Things. Oh. Madam, both of them are Whatever you say or do, we use against you in the court of law. Sergeant, move Move, Madam, you are Move. 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 Don't let me 
Yes? Who are you and how may I help you? Uh, my name is Sophia, the elder sister to the copper you arrested. That girl is very stupid. I will teach her a lesson she will never forget in a hurry. Instead of her to focus on the service she came here to do, she's going around the village book nosing on matters that have nothing to do with her. Imagine insulting me, the queen of Fumuchu ancient kingdom. Please, no, my Biko, please, my queen, please. That, that's why I'm here. I'm here to apologize on her behalf. And... You said she is your younger sister? Yes, my immediate younger sister. She's very stubborn. Well, she has to be in that station for some time so that her head will calm down. No, my queen. No, please. My queen, please, I beg you. Please, please, I beg you. you please, please, pardon her. Please. Who is she? Imagine her pointing at me. Who does that? Who? You, you, you mean... Abigail? Pointed at my queen. You can at you that. If I may ask. Yes, my queen. The girl called Uloma. Who is she to you people? I don't know her, my queen. What is her relationship with your family? She's not related to us. I don't know her. I don't know, and that, that's why I'm angry with my sister. That's why I'm angry with Abigail. I, uh, please, my queen, please. Please, just pardon her, please. You don't know her? No. I don't know her. It's all right. Thank you, my queen. I'll put a call to the DPO. Thank you, my queen. Thank you, thank you, my queen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my queen. I see you. I'll be back.
sir. Why are you looking angry? You shut up. Do you know why I'm looking angry? Now who is she? My friend. Is she a copper? No, she's not. And what's your business with her? She's my friend. That's my business with her. I ask you again, what is your business with her? I just said she's my friend. That's my business with her. How dare you? Sister, you slapped me the same way you went talking to the Queen of Umochi Kingdom. Is that what she told and you? And that's exactly what I know you would do. Sister, that girl in there is pregnant for her son. Now tell me, is it good for a man to get a woman pregnant and abandon her? Now you shut up. Go in there and tell her to pack her things and leave this house this minute. I will do no such thing. I won't! Chileke idima, 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 chileke idima, 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 chileke idima, 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 chileke idima, 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 chileke idima, idima. coming from your chambers. Is there anything that matter? Mother, something bothers me. A lot. Say it. Thank you. Which is? The royal maiden of his civil kingdom who claimed my brother got her pregnant. My princess. Your brother, my son, the crown prince of Umochi ancient kingdom can never be responsible for that pregnancy. Mother, you can't say for yourself. I know for sure. Very soon, Afa Mifuna will be walking down the aisle with the princess of Isugu kingdom. My princess, tell me. What will a man who has gold do with gold dust? Mother, can't you see the handwriting on the wall? It's obvious. Prince Afam does not love Clara, and you know that. Mother, why are you pushing your son, whom you claim to love, to that arrogant and proud princess? 
Vaimoda. Well, that was your late father's dying wish for both of them. Well, that arrogant, that proud, Clara is royalty and she is befitting for my son. Mother, for once I do not like her. I don't like her at all. She's too proud and arrogant. My dear, deal with it. I think it's high time you got yourself a man. And you all don't have to settle. Hmm? Whatever. I have made my point clear, mother. That's I need to put our farm to a call. <laughs> I need to shock you because I know my son. Mother, I can't wait. I'm doing that already. Hello, son. <laughs> How are you? Of course, I'm good. How is Canada? Hmm, and study? Good to hear. Mm -hmm. She's here trying to behave. <laughs> yes. Nothing, we're just checking on you. Yes. Yeah. Matters are rising. There's this conniving gold digger who has been visiting the palace with the claim that you got her pregnant. <laughs> she said her name is Wan Uloma, a royal palace maid of Isugo Kingdom. But I know you're not. I know you too well. You can't do a thing like that. What? Have a me for now. Have a me for now. Tell me you're joking. How could you? Afamefine, how can you of all people condescend so low to an ordinary palace maid? Why would you entangle yourself with a palace maid? Get off my phone. I said it. I said it, mother. Have you seen it now? All men are the same, and that includes my brother. Yes, mother. Have you seen it? Why, Ephraim, why? I thought your brother is a man of repute. Ephraim decided to ruin this family's image. Something that took your forefathers decades to build. Ah. No. Mother, men are not to be trusted. They're all the same. They can't say... I refuse to believe this! I know he's joking. He's joking. I know. I can't do it. My son is so decent to be. Mother. Oh. Why did you return? Well, I. I had to leave immediately, I got your message. You abandoned your course in Canada and came back? 
Oh, my, my course can't wait. I just um, came back to have everything sorted out before going back for my course. Nathan, you have the nerves to spew such trash from your mouth. Now you listen up. If you have returned because of that low life, she will never be your wife. Not while I'm still alive. At least I will need to see her first. Do you know where she is? How say you? very real to you. I must have to find her. And that's final. Under the sun, under the moon, just follow my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the season, just reach out for me. I'll be there Baby, you're the center of my world You're the center of my world Honey, you're the center of my world So tell me where you day Just let me love you Love you my way just let me love you, love you forever. Love you, love you today. Just let me love you, love you forever. Cause Sunday. Hi. How are you? I'm looking for Uloma. Would you help me call her, please? Oh. Uloma went to Mochi Kingdom since after her mother's death. What? Yes. Her mother is dead. Jesus! When? That was some months ago. Some months ago? Hi! Um. Do you do you know how best I can reach her? Okay. Um if if she comes back, right? Tell her Prince Afam was here. Okay? That I really want to talk to her, all right? Okay, please. I will come back again anytime. Hmm? Don't forget, please. Prince Afam was here. Hmm? Under the sun, under the rain, just call on my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Love a man, oh love my man.
Greetings, my princess. Tell all the prince to come before my royal Offer me for now. I gathered from a reliable source that you flew into this country for the past week. How can you be in this country and you never deem it fit to call or visit me? Oh, you think you can sneak into my kingdom and I wouldn't know about that? Huh? Oh. I, I didn't know you have your soldiers around monitoring my movements. You know. Pride in your paradise Makes you foolish in another man's world You slapped me. Pride in your paradise This is it. You have no atom of respect for me. This is the end of the road for you and I. If I see you anywhere close to me, you'll be dead. Try me. Where are you going? Huh? How dare you walk out on me? On whose permission? Huh? You must be a very big fool for asking me that stupid question. Now, watch me leave. Makes you foolish in another man's world. Pride in your paradise. Makes you ugly in this beautiful world. My pregnancy is beginning to show. I am yet to lay my eyes on the man who got me pregnant. Uloma, as it stands now, the only option you have is to go for a DNC. What? Yes. Abigail. No. I, I cannot commit murder. No, 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 Abigail. I'm scared. I can't do that. I can't. You're scared of what? No, tell me, you're scared of what? No, Abigail, no. What, what, what if I lose my life in the process? Loma, nothing will happen to you. I can assure you of that. No, 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 no. Abigail, I can't do it though. I can't do it. I can't. I'm scared. I'm scared to death. I can't do that. Loma. No, 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 no. Loma, listen to me. Would you rather keep the pregnancy and suffer stigmatization? You can't even feed yourself, not to talk of your unborn, unborn baby. Listen, the father of your child is nowhere to be found. So the only option is for you to terminate the pregnancy. Okay? I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I mean, yeah, that is a bush. Okay, my own child. I can't do it. I can't do it. What other option do you have? <laughs> Tell me. What else would you do? <laughs> Can you, okay, it, it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. Stop crying. Stop it. I don't like seeing you like this. Please stop. Stop crying. <laughs> no, my, it's fine. It's okay. I understand you. It's fine. <laughs> Please, just stop crying, okay? <laughs> Mama, listen to me. Stop, stop. Stop, stop it's okay. Everything will be fine.
So how much do you know this girl? She's my schoolmate. Just a schoolmate. And you had the guts to bring her into my house? Uh -uh. Sister, I don't... Shut! Just shut! Shut up, Abigail! Shut up! Because you've got nothing reasonable to explain. You had the guts to bring a total stranger into my house without telling me? And what if something happens to her? Sister, you are taking this thing too serious, so nothing will happen to her. Now you listen to me. I don't want to see that girl in this house anymore after today. Do you get that? Hmm. How far do you? Good. Whatever you like. What did you just say? Abigail. Oh, the young girl that brought you here. She ran away in shock, thinking that you would not be good. Please, please, just sit. Please. But don't mind. The fetus in your womb is okay. We are going to take care of you. Doctor, please. Please, I do not want this pregnancy. Please help me terminate it, please, doctor. I do not have anywhere to go to. I am helpless and homeless. I can't even take care of this baby. Please help me terminate it, doctor. Please, help me. Young lady, don't say that. Do you know that God forbids it? And moreover, your life is involved. There are some people out there struggling, moving from church to church from hospital to hospital, from native doctor to native doctor. And God have answered some. You that God has blessed, and you are there, not appreciating God. Young lady, do you know that God loves you? Please, don't cry. Hmm? We are going to take care of you. Please, God loves you. Please. Do you know why I called you back? No. My son told me that you slapped him for your subjects. No. How could you, Clara? Mother, it was just a minor, minor lover's misunderstanding. No matter the scribble, you shouldn't have slapped the brains. He is the future king of this ancient kingdom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mother. I got so irritated. You needed to have seen him screaming, 
I got so scared. At some point, I almost had a panic attack and then I lost it. I was just so scared, Mood. I'm sorry. Bride in your paradise. In your paradise. Makes you foolish in another man's world. Oh, yeah. Bride in your paradise. Makes you ugly in this beautiful world. I'm sorry, mother. You really should work on your temperament, you know. The prince is a man. And you know men have ego. I know. I'm sorry. I promise it's never gonna happen again. More like it. I'll talk to him. Be humble, be humble, be humble, 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 humble. You may leave. You're not a fast, you won't be the last. I'm here, you didn't tell me you were coming. Am I supposed to tell my sister before coming to our house? That's not what I'm talking about. Anyway, have you eaten? Yes, I ate noodles. But there is soup in the freezer, you didn't check. Yes, I saw it, but I actually wanted to eat noodles. Okay. Abigail. Mm -hmm. What have you committed? I don't understand. Is there a problem? No, no problem. Are you sure? I'm sure, why are you asking? Why are you home? Sis, please stop that. There's no problem. I just came to see my sister. Oh. <laughs> Better. Can you get me semo to eat? I'm hungry. Mm. You make me some semo, please. Oh, oh God. God. It's been hot today. Hello. How are you doing today? Do you lack anything around you? Olama, I came to discuss something that will put a smile on your face. After several thoughts, I came to the conclusion that I will help you. I've decided to take you to my house. What? That is it. Hey, thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. Okay. Thank you, my God will bless you, sir. It's okay. I thank think, you. I think it will enable me to monitor your pregnancy very well. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's all right. Thank you so much. It's okay. I'm fine. It's okay. It's okay. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm fine. That's fine. How was work today? No problem. And who okay, is she? Hold on, ma. Ah, this is my wife, Tessie. Good evening, ma. Tessie, this is Olama. She's going to be staying with us for the meantime. Andrew, what kind of a man are you? How could you get a housemaid without my consent? What is your problem? No, Oloma is not a house help. She needs accommodation. And this house is very big and empty. I thought it wise to ask her to come and stay with us. Andrew, must you always remind me of my inability to give you a child? Oh, this house is big and empty. Empty of children, right? That is what you mean. That is not what I mean. Then tell me what you mean. Tell
tell me what you mean. Eh? How could you bring in a girl without telling me? Eh? Does that make you a good husband? Tell me, no, leave me. Greetings, my, my friends. Here is your drink. Did you wash the glass? Yes, my prince. Oh, you can go. Thank you, my prince. Under the sun, under the rain, just call up my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Gotta be humble, 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 humble. You're not a fast, you won't be the last. Be humble, oh, yeah. Be humble. How far me for now? What are you doing here? Why have you been avoiding me? If you don't mind, I want to be left alone. Well, I cannot possibly leave you alone. Alpha Mefuna, you are my betrothed. You lie. I am not your husband, and I can never, ever be your husband. Oh, really? Alpha Mefuna. So you never thought of that when you took my womanhood away from me. You must be very stupid for saying that. Just take your miserable self out of this palace now. You know what? Everything is becoming so clearer to me now. But I will get to the root of this. You are just so unbelievable. Everybody know they talk oh. That everybody know get a choice oh. Be careful what you wish for Yeah Be mindful what you wish for Nobody now pass. Nobody get your destiny of another in hands. Nobody be God. Please consider before you decide. Remember, nobody. Oh, 
Good morning. How are you, Norma? I'm fine, sir. Yeah. What are you doing? I am cleaning the house, sir. I've told you to watch the way you do shots in the house. You are pregnant. And as such, you don't need to stress yourself unnecessarily. So I am strong. I can do them. It is okay. Just try to get enough rest. I am off to work. Okay, sir. Have a nice day at work. So, Andrew got a girl pregnant and brought her to this house as a maid. Young one, what do you have with my husband? I am asking you, what do you have with my husband? Nothing, ma. I, I don't have anything with your husband, ma. Do not lie to me. I had everything. And who is responsible for that thing in your womb? Ma, I swear with my late mother's grave, I do not have anything with your husband. Fold my hands, sit back and watch you destroy a home that have taken me 18 years to build. Is that what you think? That you can come from nowhere with that thing in your womb to destroy my marriage? I will show you how I have spent my years in the streets and how I have suffered in the hands of faith before God brought me to this home. You will see what I will do to you. Stands here. Uloma. Uloma. The only thing you do in this house is to eat and sleep. Come on, leave it there. Leave it. So you knew you're supposed to remove it and you left them till this moment. What is your problem? I'm sorry, ma. I, I was in the kitchen. I was arranging things. I was going to. I was coming to tidy it before what happened. Eh? What is your problem? Eh? I must kill you today. I will strangle you today. I will strangle you today. You, you must die here today. You slender. Stupid. You will die. I will make sure. Eh? Your instinct you have told you that you only remove this thing before any other thing. What is your problem? Eh? Must I tell you everything? Come on, get it! You slender girl. Just look at her. <laughs> Very useless, stupid, senseless. Huh? Come on, carry this thing out. Where is Oloma? Huh? Where in God's name is she? 
This is two weeks I abandoned my course in Canada and flew down to this country. And I'm yet to find her. I have visited her house twice and still Oloma is nowhere to be found. What is going on? I just hope nothing has happened to her and my baby. I just hope. God, please help me. Under the sun, under the rain, just call on my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Cause you've got You've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Greetings, mother. Greetings, my princess. How are you? Why is my princess troubled? Mother. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gradually losing Prince Afam. Say school. Oh, come on, my love. You should remove such thought from your mind. Listen, Afam is your betrothed. You can lose him. Mother, he doesn't even call me. He doesn't even visit me. He avoids me like, like I'm a plague. <laughs> come, come, my love. 
Sit. Sit with me. Sit. Now listen. I can assure and reassure you that Riz Afam is yours. And yours alone. But my dad, he doesn't even call me. He doesn't pick my calls. I'm just tired. He doesn't call you? And he hasn't picked your call? No. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about this. He will definitely come around. That I promise. Hmm? Murder. I don't want to lose him. You will not. It's okay. Mother. Mm -hmm. I think there is another woman. Oh, shush. Stop. I know my son. There's no other woman anywhere. There is. There is. He's acting so strange. <laughs> you will come around, I promise. Come. Come to know me. It's okay. <laughs> Consider before you decide. Remember, nobody has it out. Nobody knows it out. Oh, my big. Thank you, Mama. How are you? I'm fine, sir. What happened to your face? Nothing, sir. Oloma, do not lie to me. What happened while I was away? She is leaving this house today. There is. How could you? A woman who is believing God for the fruit of the womb treat other women's children with so much wickedness. Andrew, I am not barren. That is not the case. I only ask you to treat this young girl with so much love. What love are you talking about? Please spare me that. Oloma is leaving this house this very minute, immediately. I have had enough from both of you. Please. I do not have any way to go, please. Please don't send me away, please. I have no way to go to, please, ma'am. Please, I'm begging you, please. Does it look like I care? I don't care. If you like, have where to go. If you don't like, you can sleep under the bridge. I don't give a damn. Go upstairs, girl. Let us go to your room. You are going to pick everything that belongs to you and out of this house now. No! Don't beg me! Get! I said get up! Let us go to your room for you to pick what belongs to you. Get up! Get up! Hey, go, 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 go! Let us go. You are going to pack your things now. I understand that you have been avoiding your betrothed, Princess Clara. May I know why? Princess Clara has been disturbing me lately. And if there's something I dislike so much, it's disturbance. I, I hate someone choking me and um, making me feel uncomfortable. And when has a fiancé looking at our fiancés will become bargain. Well, Mom, I, I just don't like Princess Clara. That's the whole truth. What? Afam, did I hear you right? Mom, you heard me clearly. I don't like her. I don't love her. That girl is too aggressive. She's not respectful. I don't like her. Okay, I can't settle down with someone I don't have feelings for. Afamifna, to see you marry Princess Clara was your late father's dying wish. Well, Mom, let's forget about uh, dead man's wish. Let's face the reality. Okay, my late father cannot, cannot choose an arrogant girl for me to marry. It's uncalled for. 
Royalty. Marries royalty. Royalty or not royalty, I am not getting married to Princess Clara. She doesn't give me peace of mind. Every man wants who gives him peace of mind. I know Loma is a perfect woman for me. Excuse me. Why are you bugging my brother over Clara? Quiet, young woman. I didn't ask for your opinion. Mother, please, I beg you. He is old enough to know what he wants. Just allow him to make his choice. What now? Don't dare. What is it again? What is your problem? You are wrecked emotionally. You are no more the beautiful queen I married. You keep bothering yourself over our childlessness. What is the problem? Am I complaining? Tessie. Your inability to have a child cannot quench my love for you. You are still my Tessie, the one I loved so much. Turn to me, my queen. Oh, 
my pretty queen. What is the problem? Please come to me. Come on. Under the sun, under the rain, just call up my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Where is your Loma and my unborn baby? This is the third time I've gone to Isubu Kingdom in search of her. Where is she? Huh? I really miss her. Where in God's name can I find her? Where? How can she disappear like that? He left in the house as if rushing for something very important. My son is totally withdrawn from everybody and everything that has to do with the advancement of this royal palace and... Mother, I really pity my brother. I mean, he has not been himself since he abandoned his cause in Canada, down to here. That shows that what brought him down here is very important and dear to him. Oh, oh, here he comes. Ah. Where have you been since morning? My friends, you are welcome. Ah, thank you. My friends, you kept us so worried and you look worn out. Should I get something for you? If you can, please. Okay. I'll be back shortly. Okay. I'll me for now. You left this palace as early as 6 a.m. and you're returning back now. May I know why? I cannot find Uloma and my unborn child. I have searched everywhere for her, but she's nowhere to be found. Wait, are you saying you left this palace in search of that classless thing? That classless thing has my child, and I must find them. Please consider before you decide. I see. So, that daughter of a nobody is the reason behind his actions. I see. You will never marry that maiden. Not when I'm still alive. Never. The work of Mr. Andrew. Yeah. Dr. Richard, I understand that my wife has been visiting your hospital lately. Is there something I should know? 
Well, Mr. Andrew, as a medical doctor, you should be able to understand that um, there are things against the ethics of our profession. So I'm um, really sorry I can't answer your question. Dr. Richard, is everything okay with my wife? Well, like I said earlier, I'll call you back, please. I'm in a meeting over here. I'm sorry about that. Well, like I said earlier, I suggest you go home and talk to her yourself. I think that should be better. It's okay. Fine, okay? You'll be fine. Sorry. Sorry. Fine, okay? You'll be fine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sister, you're welcome. What's wrong with her? Malaria. How long now? I started today. But she'll be fine. I've given her drugs. Yes. I'll be fine. I'll be fine, Auntie. Um, sister, sit down now. I'm fine. Okay. Mm. Mama, you'll be fine, okay? <coughs> Sorry, sorry. 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 Hi. Sorry, no, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Sorry. Abigail. Sister. What if what if that girl dies in this house? God forbid. Nothing will happen to her, sister. Sister, it's not like that. I just want to help this girl. She has no one, no place to go to. Is she from the orphanage? No, she's not from the orphanage. But her parents are late. Then let her go to her relatives. Or are you not one of them? Sister, I'm not. I'm just helping a less privileged. Look, Abigail. If anything happens to that girl in this house, count me out. You get that? Bright 
Why is he not picking my clothes? Pride in your paradise Makes you ugly In this beautiful world In this beautiful world You better be humble Humble You're not the first You won't be the last Be humble Be humble You gotta be humble Humble Fast, you won't be the last to humble, humble. Oh, yeah, it's not how long, oh, yeah, but how well has it been? How good can it be? Will you make me mad for no reason? Oh, yeah, can I depend on you? Oh, oh. Pride in your paradise Makes you foolish in another man's world Pride in your paradise Slow it down, slow it down In this beautiful world Nobody knows you better be you humble, 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 humble You're not the first, you won't be the last Be humble. Afa me, Funa. What type of insult is this on me? The princess of Isyubu Kingdom. This is a royal insult. And you must pay for it. Nobody know us. Nobody get a destiny of another in us. Nobody be God. Please consider. Before you decide, oh. remember nobody has it all. Nobody knows it all. Oh, man, not be God, oh. Man, not be God, oh. Be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for. What you wish for. Man of be God, oh. Man of be God, oh. Be careful what you... Mother. You are oh, here. My princess. Enjoying yourself. How are you? I'm fine. Do you need a seat? No, don't worry. Mother. Yes, there. Please. There is something very important I want us to talk about. Important? Yes. Okay. Let 
Mother. Yes, dear. Please, I beg you in the name of our girls, allow my brother to make his choice. Please, Mother. Never. Prince Afamifuna can never marry that gold digger. The Igwe, your late father and I made the right choice for him. And that is Princess Clara, the princess of Isugo kingdom. But you know my brother does not love her. Mother, trying to force him on her will be suicidal. Please, will, Mother. I will force her on him. He must marry her. He can't abandon her after taking the pride of our womanhood. Yes. She confided in me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So she went as far as telling you that? No. She is not matured enough. Call it whatever you like. All I know is that Prince Afamefuna is going to marry the princess of Isugo kingdom and that is QAD. He doesn't like her, he doesn't love her, yet he slept with her. You're a woman. So think about that. Excuse me. You don't want a woman. You took everything. Does he know what the pride of the woman means? Get away from her now, you want to abandon her. A princess. Where do you think you're going? In search of Oloma. Leave this palace and I will disown you. You know, as the future king of this kingdom, I don't succumb to threats. Leave the spellers and I will tell you that I formed you in my womb and gave way for you to have life. That's exactly why you see me taking the chill pill and trying not to be up in the heel. Because you're my mother. I'm all about Uloma and my unborn child's whereabouts and nothing else matters. You abandoned your curse in Canada and came back in search of a low class. <laughs> that low class is going to be the future queen of this kingdom. Never. Not in my time. You know me as mother. But there are more to queen. Don't dare me. Okay then, we'll see to that. Let's see how you achieve that. Under the sun, under the rain, just call up my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Cause you've got... For this bastard you're carrying. Answer me! I'm talking to you, answer me before I rip your butt! Answer me this minute! Well, let me come here. Come before me right now! She's going nowhere. Well, let me stay here. How dare you disobey me? Who do you think you are? Who is this mannerless imp? I will pretend I did not hear your insults. Oh yes, you heard me. And you, you shameless, dirty, looking thing, come before my royal presence this minute. And I said, she's going nowhere. Who do you think you are? Do you think this, this, this is your father's palace? Where you order maids and, and guards around? Well, you're going nowhere. For your 
information. This is Umuchi Kingdom, not Isugu. Uluma. Uluma, you stabbed me. You betrayed me. You were my favorite maiden. Why did you choose from them? Why, my man? Why? Uloma, you betrayed the royal household. And for this, I'm gonna lay a curse on you. Uloma, you shall. Wait, 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 stop it! Just stop it! It was because of your arrogance that the prince left you. Don't you dare! Don't you dare in your entire life raise your filthy hands on me! Do I look like one of your maidens? Do I look like Uloma? Are you mad? The next time you try this, I will show you the stuff I'm made of! Get your filthy hands off me! How dare you? How dare you squeeze my hand? How dare you? Princess, my fools! Uloma, let's go. Uloma! Uloma! Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? Princess, my fools. Pride in your paradise Makes you foolish in another man's world Pride in your paradise Makes you ugly in this beautiful world You better be humble, humble. Humble, humble, you're not the first, you won't be the last. Be humble. What nonsense! Who does she think she is? Princess, my fools! She should go and look for her husband. How can a whole princess be forcing herself on a man who doesn't want her? Come to think of it, which same man will want to get married to a naughty girl like her? Happy girl. It's okay. Can you at least calm down? I don't like her. She's just too bossy for my liking. We are home now. Can you at least let the princess be? Please. It's fine. How are you? As you can see, I'm fine. I'm okay. God, where do I go in search of my daughter? I have visited the nanny I left my daughter in her care. The story was she has packed out many years ago. What do I do?
that I am not my own late father's child? <sighs> Wicked uncles. They should come and tell me whose daughter am I then? They didn't come and drive me out of this house. <sighs> They're finally here. Probably to come and chase me out from my own father's house. Um, what do I own this for sex? How may I be of help? Listen, the question should be How may we be of help to you? Because you're not from this family. <laughs> I can see that you both does not have anything meaningful to say. Please, if you don't have anything to say, then I should go back to my room and complete what I was doing. Not so soon, young woman. We are here to ask you to leave this house. Uncle, I don't get it. You don't get what? Listen, our late brother had no child while he was alive. So you better leave. Lies. You pathetic liar. George is not lying. Our late brother Peter and his wife had no child when he was alive. Uncle, even you? How can a man like you barge into my late father's house to tell me about my true paternity? Just a few weeks after my late parents' burial, as a result of the fatal accident. And you both are already here claiming his properties. Yes, you see. Listen, you've heard what my brother said. Simple. You're not from this family. You're not part of us and you will never be. Please leave. Ah. Okay then. We'll see to that. You have to come and drag me out to yourself. Because I am not going anywhere. So it has gotten to this, eh? You've grown wide, eh? Okay. We shall see. I got one. to do is to throw me out from this house and then take everything that my father has worked for. <gasps> they want to take the house, the cars and all his property. <laughs> I refuse to bow. <laughs> and who said that a female child should be relegated to background? I will never, I will never leave this house. Never. Period. I will not. So beautiful. I like your hair. Hmm. Even this your clothes is very fine. Look at your leg, very smooth and fresh. What happened? What is it? Teresa, just relax. Don't you have a boyfriend? Have you not done it before? Done what? Relax, let me just do once. Only once. Yeah? Just once. I'd rather die than to have you have your way. Never. 
Yeah. Are you serious? Then let's see. Uncle George! Uncle George! Uncle George! Somebody help! Uncle George! Uncle George! Jai, 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 This little rat, you hit my scrotum. Is it or you know? Hmm. So what up? I'm cool, bro. Slowly, calm down. We are your friends. Huh? Don't be scared, huh? Wow. Please. Did I touch you? No. Don't be scared. Come this way. Turn around. Turn around. I'm turning. Shh. Now come to daddy. Hug daddy. Why? I said you should hug daddy. I'm happy. Wow. You're looking so sweet. Where are you? So please, I'm a virgin. I've not done it before, please. Oh. She said she's a virgin. Yes, I've not done it before, please. You're a virgin? Yes, I've not done it before, please. We're also, we're also virgin. Oh, we're virgin too. Oh. Now, oh. go and lie you down. You enjoy it. Oh, you this virgin me, I this virgin you. So please, so please. You said? Where you? You want me to come here to salad? No. Huh? Lie down. Please, oh, please, I'm begging. Lie please. down. Since you are vegan, you take it gently. Oh, please. Huh? Please, gently. I'm begging you. Please don't do this. Uh -uh. Don't uh -uh. do this. Ross. Please don't do this. Just calm down. Okay? I've not done it before. I go where you to salad. Oh. Huh? Ah! Yes, ma. Open that gate immediately. Okay, ma.
any face. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I am desperate to see my daughter before I die. My instinct tells me that she is still alive. I feel it within me. She is alive. But how do I see her? How do I meet her? Oh God, oh, how do I do this, eh? How do I do it? How? Where do I see her? God, help me. Eh? Hey, she na bazi kwam kata kata o. She na bazi m kata kata. Chupu bi konya no no maaka. Help me, God, please help me. Oh. Again, Good what day. are you doing here? Good day. Good day. I I came to check whether you have seen the nanny around. But I told you, I don't know anybody. I don't know any nanny. I told you, and I called my mom. She said she doesn't know any nanny. It's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. But in, in case if you see her. Where have you been all day? Hmm. Where have you been all day? Fanjo, please stop pestering my life. I don't have the strength to talk to anyone. I beg. You called my question pestering? 
you left here since morning. Coming back this late at night. Keeping me worried all day. And you said I'm pestering you. Okay. For crying out loud, please leave my life alone. Rap on Allow me to be. Eh? How do you want me to put it to you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. I am okay. The only problem I have now is you. You are disturbing my life. Just let me be. Can't you understand simple English? Let me be. Here. Teresa. Where is the smiling part of your face? What is eating you up? Andrew, nothing is eating me up. I am okay. Let me, let, let me rest. I just came in now. I deserve to rest. Teresa, you are pushing me too far. No, you are pushing me too far. What would you do? Eh? Beat me up? Okay, Andrew, I'm going to see me. Beat me up. Beat me up. Eh? Oh, you want to send me packing? Go ahead and send me packing. Your mistress is pregnant for you. So what do you want me for? I am of no use to you. Go ahead now. Where are you keeping quiet? Ah! I came in here, you keep on disturbing me with one question or the other. What is your problem? Let me be, Biko. Won't someone have rest in this house again? What can Biko? What do you allow me to be, Biko? Ah! It is all this. <laughs> Your case is becoming a psychiatric one, Teresa. I know what to do. I know what to do. Tolkien, you believe that Ephraim has been around for quite some time? Oh, yes! He abandoned his cause in Canada after being a whooping sum of money in foreign currency and came back for reasons best known to him. Can you beat that? Please, it would be my pleasure if you could come and speak with him. All right. That's okay. I'll be counting on you. All right. Bye bye. Prince is around and he never called. No visitors in the house. Don't want them. That is what I am talking about. I don't know what has become of my son. He will leave the palace in the morning and return at dusk. My queen, are you sure everything is okay with him? Dog, how would I know when he's not telling me anything? Then I'll talk to him myself to ascertain what the problem is. Please do. That is the reason I summoned you. Can I talk to him now? Who? Prince, of course. He's not in the palace as we speak. In that case, I will call him upon. It's all right. I'll be counting on you. There's no problem, my queen. How about a uh, princess? She drove us from hour to go. Okay. Mm. It's all right. Don't bother. Pardon my manners. What do I offer you? Oh. Well, my queen, forget about that. I will be driving straight to the office. I have some emergency. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah no problem. It's all right. It's okay. Thanks for your time. It's all right.
What is going on? What is stopping you people from taking her to the labor room for delivery? Madam, don't worry. In a short while, we we'll attend to her. She'll Just hurry up now. Hurry up. She's in pain. Oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. You'll be fine. Oh. Sorry. Something came up. Something like what, my prince? My mother called to, to tell me that my fiance is pregnant for me. Wow! So Princess Olivia is already pregnant? Oh no, Uncle, it's not it's not Princess Olivia. Um, I'm talking of Oloma. See, Oloma is a certain maiden I, I met in his Yubu kingdom. So since I got back, I've been looking for her everywhere. And I haven't set my eyes on her. So, um, so since I, I came back, she has been. You mean no Loma from Isubu Kingdom? Yes, yes. My prince, there is a girl here from Isubu Kingdom who was rushed to this hospital yesterday due to complications in her pregnancy. Really? Yeah. Just come and see. Please. 
Yes. I found out I was pregnant for you. A month after you left this Yubu kingdom. I tried every means to reach you with the address you gave to me. After every effort to reach you on the phone, failed. When I got to your palace, the queen, your mother, threw me away and warned me never to return to the palace or face police detention. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you passed through all of that. I came back immediately. I heard you were pregnant and came looking for me. I've been searching everywhere for you. I've gone to East Hugo Kingdom severally. It was one of my visits that I learned that your mother died of asthma. I've been looking for you, everywhere. <laughs> when only finally the Dutch has gone to be with God. <laughs> you suffer the lot of somatic patient. I grew up watching her every day go through such torture. <laughs> My nanny had to go be with the Lord. <laughs> she was never your mother? But she told me everything I needed to know about my paternity. She told me how a 15 year old teenager <laughs> abandoned me in her care in Enugu and ran away. I do not know who my real mother is. I've never set my eyes on her. I don't even know if she's alive or dead. <laughs> What is a small word? Of course. Full of mystery. What happened? Do you know Prince Alpha is responsible for Lama's pregnancy? You mean our own Prince Alpha? Yes. <laughs> Prince Alpha. What a word. Hey. Oloma was abandoned at the Enugu by a 15-year-old teenager in the house of one nanny called Grace. Grace. Yes, Grace, what is it? Did you say Grace? Yes. What is it? Oh, 
Come. Open the gate. Dr. Richard, I demand to know what is wrong with my wife. But I remember I told you to go home and ask her yourself. So why coming back to me and asking what is wrong with her again? Dr. Richard, I am a doctor just like you. I have every right to know what is wrong with my wife. Can I have her file? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Dr. Andrew. Because what you're asking for is against the ethics of our profession and you know that. is dying and I'm very sure you will not be happy if my wife dies. Please do justice to my request. I beg you. matters I have found Oloma and that is my greatest problem and my greatest fear now all of that has been conquered okay <laughs> nothing else matters really I really have to break this news to your majesty hmm? her majesty must hear this let everybody know Philosophical, moral messages that this place broadcast in antiquity are still as relevant today. Above the entrance to the temple, where the people went in to consult the oracle, were written two phrases. Oh, mother. No first No I'm coming from your brother's room. There's nowhere to be found. Where's the prince? Mother, I don't know his whereabouts. Oh, 
Obinze. Obinze. That's my queen. Where's my son? He drove him a while ago. Fetch him. That's my queen. Under the sun, under the moon, just call up my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the season, my prince, just reach out for the queen me, demands your presence at once. Tell her I'm going to join her shortly. Yes, my friends. Princess, mother, I am bothered. You are bothered? I don't know why your brother is not indicating any interest in paying the princess bride price. Did he discuss anything with you? Oh, mother, it is obvious. Or are you not seeing it? Saying what? That my brother does not love her that much to make her his wife. Yes, mother. Time is running out. He needs to pick a wife so that he can ascend his forefather's throne. The throne is vacant. Anyway, what are you watching? I'm seeing a movie. <laughs> oh, curiosity. <laughs> wow, I would love to watch. You enjoy it? Really? When I'm coming. Yeah, it's alright. Where's my son? He'll be with you soon. Mother. My prince. You sent for me. Sit. I'll for me for now. Why have you not declared interest in making Clara your bride? Mom, are we still on this? I don't get it. I have told you countless times that I do not love Princess Clara. May I know why? Please, Mom. I do not have time for this, okay? I don't have time to discuss what I know we've discussed severally. But she is your father's choice I for you. Care. I do not care one bit. And for your information, mother, I have found the woman I love. Oh, yes. Really? I have found Uloma. Yeah. Finally. Finally. <laughs> I thought I told her in explicit manner to steal away from you. Mom, she is my future wife. She has my unborn child. Child or no child, she can never be part of this family. Never. Mother, you see, I have respected you enough as my mother. And respect, they say, is reciprocal. Do not make me lose it. It will be funny. Are you daring me? 
I am so happy. In fact, mother, I am going to pop a bottle of champagne. My only brother is expecting a baby. He will soon become a father. Hey. You're very stupid. Mother. Father to whom? Father to who? A commoner? Hello? How are you feeling? Much better, as you can see. I'm glad you're, you're much better. Meet my, my kid sister, Rima. <laughs> Rima, of course, you know her already. Yes, I know her. <laughs> Greetings, my princess. Greetings to you, Loma, the chosen one. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, how how are you feeling? As you can see, I'm I'm fine. You sure you don't need anything? Maybe provision. Provision. Oh. So you finally want provisions? Because I know I asked you. You said no. <laughs> Okay, She's sorry. so beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I'm sorry. To find a place in your heart to forgive my mother. I was homeless. And her bless. I took to the streets because of what my uncles did to me. Believe me, I left you with all my heart. And I've been searching for you all this while. Thank God, I've seen you. I am now happy. I can die a happy woman. Forgive your mother. No. You are not going to die. Not after I had seen you. And after I have seen the woman who gave birth to me, I'm not going to die. Forgive me from my heart. Thank you, my daughter, for forgiving me. My God bless and protect you from me always. Desi. 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 Mom. 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 Mommy. Check, 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 check. Is she okay? Oh, 
Hello. A lot has happened. But we have to move on. Your mother kept me in the dark all this while. I am sorry for everything. I am really sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive her. I know you can do that. I live alone in this whole house. I want you to move in with me. Your mother's last wish on her dying bed is for me to take proper care of you. And you know how good a father I can be to you. Please. Thank you very much, sir. You have been a godsend to me. From the deepest part of my heart, God knows I really, really appreciate you, sir. But I just want to move on with my life. I do not wish to bother you, sir. Oloma, how can you say that? Please, I just want you to move in with me. That is all I want. Loma, please stay with him. He's your late mother's husband. And he's a good man. Besides, I will soon be rounding up my NYSC. And I will leave the state. So please, stay with him. I'm good, I'm fine. fine. How was work today? No problem. And who okay, is she? Hello, ma. Ah, this is my wife, Tessie. Good evening, ma. Tessie, this is Olama. She's going to be staying with us for the meantime. 
Andrew, what kind of a man are you? How could you get a housemaid without my consent? What is your problem? No, Oloma is not a housemaid. She needs accommodation. And this house is very big and empty. I thought it wise to ask her to come and stay with us. Andrew, must you always remind me of my inability to give you a child? Oh, this house is big and empty. Empty of children, right? That is what you mean. That is not what I mean. Then tell me what you mean. Tell me what you mean. Eh? How could you bring in a girl without telling me? Eh? Does that make you a good husband? Tell me, no, leave me. you to watch the way you do shots in the house. You are pregnant. And as such, you don't need to stress yourself unnecessarily. So I am strong. I can do them. It is okay. Just try to get enough rest. I am yes. off to work. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. So, Andrew got a girl pregnant and brought her to this house as a maid. Young woman, what do you have with my husband? I am asking you, what do you have with my husband? Nothing, ma. I, I don't have anything with your husband, ma. Do not lie to me. I had everything. And who is responsible for that thing in your womb? No. I swear with my late mother's grief, I do not have anything with your husband. I am not lying to you. I don't have anything with your husband. I don't have anything with your husband. Oh, you think I will fold my hands, sit back and watch you destroy a home that has taken me 18 years to build? Is that what you think? That you can come from nowhere with that thing in your womb to destroy my marriage? I will show you how I have spent my years in the streets and how I have suffered in the hands of faith before God brought me to this home. You will see what I will do to you. lie to me. What happened while I was away? She is leaving this house today. Teresa, how could you, a woman who is believing God for the fruit of the womb, 
treat other women's children with so much wickedness. Andrew, I am not barren. That is not the case. I only ask you to treat this young girl with so much love. What love are you talking about? Please spare me that. Oloma is leaving this house this very minute. Immediately. I have had enough from both of you. I do not have any way to go, please. Please don't send me away, please. I have no way to go to, please, ma'am. Please, I'm begging you, please. Does it look like I care? I don't care. If you like, have where to go. If you don't like, you can sleep under the bridge. I don't give a damn. Go upstairs, girl. Let us go to your room. You are going to pick everything that belongs to you and out of this house now. Now! Don't beg me! Get! I said get up! Let us go to your room for you to pick what belongs to you. Oh yeah. Get up! Get up! Get up! Go, 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 go! Let us go! You are going to pack your things now. Fate took me to my own mother. To be comforted. But she drew me out. <sighs> my own. Mother, to me, back into the street. <sighs> she, was, she was so weak. Suffered in the hands of I. I suffered in the hands of my own blood. Dating looking thing. Oh. You think you can beat the finger that fed you? Really? You really want to play this game, huh? You really do want to play this game. Okay. Let's play it. Life is Let's play it. Stays the same. Change is permanent. Nothing stays the same. While you can predict tomorrow, you cannot give what you do not have. Every action has its consequence. Your legs can take you places, but it's character that will keep you there. You husband snatcher. So this is where you came to hide your mischievous self. I, I hey, see that family using you. Step what? What is it? What? Have I been now? This is where you're hiding this thing. Have I been now? You betrayed my love. You backstabbed me. Even you. Even, even you. I trusted you. I trusted you. <laughs> How could you do this to me? How? How could you do this to me? 
You know what? I you make it pay dearly for this. I will make it pay dearly for this. Trust me. Stupid thing. Excuse me. <laughs> That's all she can do. Shout and do nothing. You okay? He sure. Yeah, of course. Very sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Be humble. Be humble. Be humble. Be humble now. Life is fluid. Nothing stays the same. Change is permanent. Nothing stays the same. While you can't predict tomorrow, you cannot give what you do not have. Every action has its consequence. Your legs can take you places, but it's character that will keep you there. Every action has its consequence. And it's true. Nobody knows tomorrow. Slow it down. Cause nobody knows tomorrow. Oh yeah. Pride in your paradise. In your paradise. Makes you foolish in another man's world. Oh yeah. Pride in your paradise. My princess. From the look on your face, it appears you are heavy-hearted. What is the problem? I lost him. You lost who? The prince. Father, the prince has left me to lick my wound. He chose that dainty shot made it over me. <laughs> Is that why you are low in spirit? As if you are losing hope in life? Now tell me, what did you do or what happened that um, he left you? Father, from what I have gathered so far, the prince is not worthy to be called royalty. His character, his behavior is totally unacceptable, Father. My daughter, if I tell you I understand what you're saying, I must be lying. Can you be more explicit so that I can understand you properly? Father, I don't want to continue with this whole thing anymore. The relationship between I and Afam, I'm really fed up. I just want to leave this country, this kingdom and find peace. I want to be able to nurse my wound. God, I'm just so tired. I'm tired. <laughs> my princess, don't worry, okay? Everything will be just fine. Right? Come here. Everything will be okay, okay? I think something we should explain all this balance. There's something something going on that I don't understand. Odora might be right. With which manner the princess definitely dashed herself into is not right with her. That's true. The look on her face shows that something is wrong somewhere. Maybe. 
Didn't you see how the almighty Princess Clara dashed into the palace with her face lowered down? Azoka, what are you into? I'm just trying to say that something is wrong with her. That's all. <laughs> what? <coughs> okay, let me give you the gist. What okay. is the problem? <laughs> Prince Afam mm -hmm. has finally found Oloma. <laughs> the prince has left the princess. That's yes, so right. Finally, he has left her for Oloma, our friend. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Okay, now hear her exact words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The prince left me to lick my wound. <laughs> <laughs> Not the only wound, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. Mm -hmm. Stop. It's not for me. This and that. Oh, it's too much. It's too so much. It's too much. You, you forgot to add something. What about Ugochi? Dress my beads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dress my hair. Buckle my shoes. <laughs> Azuka, go and look for my bead. Do this. Do that. Ah. It's too much. Hi. That girl. I'm so mm. happy for us. Ah, for happy Loma, for my, my dear good friend. Oh, Loma. <laughs> I'm happy for our friend. I'm happy for friend. Don't pass that right. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. She's in a better place now. Yes, now. Oh. Huh. When the prince betrays his princess with her maiden, then royalty and custom are of no importance. I was stabbed by the one I thought was my husband. A farm has torn my heart apart. I have been humiliated and left to lick my own wound. I no longer walk about in my kingdom with my shoulders high as a princess. I feel so ashamed of myself. I have learned my lessons. Humility is a virtue. Nobody knows tomorrow 
Princess, it appears you are ready to leave. Yes, Father. Let me give you a piece of advice. No. Oh, Father, don't worry. I have already advised myself. Hence, I shall be on my way now. Then wear a warm smile on your face. I don't want my daughter to travel to the city without a smile, because you never can tell. <laughs> it's okay, Father. I'll be fine, okay? Are you sure? Very sure. <laughs> it's alright. Um, let me give you my blessing. May you go well. May the gods of our ancestors go with you. You see, it's all right. Thank you, Father. I love you. I'm going to miss you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. All right. Go away. Okay? Good. Makes you ugly in this beautiful world. In this beautiful world. Be humble, humble, humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last. Oh, yeah. Be humble, be humble. You gotta be humble, humble, humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last. Be humble, humble. Not how long, oh yeah, but how well has it been, how good can it be, will you make me mad for no reason, oh yeah, can I depend on you, oh oh, pride in your paradise, makes you foolish. Another man's world Pride in your paradise Slow it down, slow it down In this beautiful world Nobody 
Everybody know that she humble, humble, humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last. Be humble, be humble. You gotta be humble, humble, humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last. Be humble. Let the body know they talk. Let everybody no get a choice. Oh. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Be mindful what you wish for. Ooh. Man no be God, oh. Man no be be God, oh. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Be careful what you wish for. Show some love, My queen. Uh, Your Highness, Ibu Gonabo. Greetings. What has your son done? Um, Iwe. Um, please. Calm down. I, I told you that I will handle this. How could he? How could he abandon my daughter, the princess, for a common palace maid? What? What did you just say? This is desecration of royalty. Complete humiliation of my royal family. It is unacceptable. I won't take this. The princess left for the city? Unceremoniously? Um, uh, uh, anyway, see, we can... Hello? Hello? Are you there? Nobody know us. Nobody get a destiny of another in our hands. Nobody be God, oh. Please consider before you decide. Oh. Remember, nobody has it all. Nobody knows it all. Oh, man, not be God. He hung up. Mother, what happened? The princess left for the city to start a new life. Unceremoniously. Good for her. You're happy, Auntie. You've won. Well, Mom, actually, I came for us to know how. Mom! My prince, you know, Mother just got a call that destabilized her. I think you should just give her some time to get over it. Please. Well, it's nothing to worry about, really. I wanted us to discuss on how we're going to pull Loma's bride prize. I know. Yeah. I am so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, I think she took the best decision instead of hanging around where she's not welcome. Exactly. That's good for her. I am so happy for you. Let the body know they talk. Let the body know get a choice. Oh. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Be mindful what you wish for. 
Thank you, sis. Good evening, Mom. Where are you returning from? Mom, I just greeted you. Good evening. That's not a question. Where are you returning from? <sighs> Mom, the manner you're asking me this question is making me look like a child. Don't forget I'm the heir apparent to this throne. Okay, you should accord me some respect. Not until you tell me who the young pregnant woman you were seen today in the city, gallivanting all over the place with, is. Mother, can you just stop? Mother, in case you have forgotten, Prince Afam is the next king of this kingdom. Shut up. So, you now, you now follow me around. You don't have a job anymore. Well, I saw you. Under the sun, under the rain, just call up my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Afamifuna, my stance still remains that you go to the city in search of the princess. Find her the way you found the gold digger. Bring her back to Isubu kingdom. Marry her. Make her your wife, your queen. That was your late father's wish. And on my dead body will I ever do it. Marry Princess Clark. Everybody know they talk. Let's watch. I don't know why mother is complicating the whole thing. Oh, it's fine. It's obvious she has no job right now. She follows me around. Boy, it's fine. Mother. Mother, at this point, you have to let go. All I know is that Afam will never marry that daughter of a nobody. Never. Never. Mother, please, you really have to let go. If not, you end up giving yourself hypertension. I will not. I will not let go. My late husband will never forgive me if I should allow this. I would not. Mother, you sound so funny. As far as I know, the princess of Isubu Kingdom has moved on with her life. Mother, 
at this point, your only son's happiness should be your greatest priority, not a dead man's wish. Slap you again if you don't shut that thing you call him out. Mother, you slap me simply because I am saying the truth. Why do I hear slap me? Slap me again. Slap me, mother. If you know. The meaning of this on the floor. <clears throat> I don't want to be furious. Don't tell me. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Be mindful what you wish for. So where do you want me to take you to? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Would you help me with my key in, inside the pigeonhole? But that's your key. No, like my 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 other key. Not not the car key. Okay. You've got my heart in your hands. Cause you've got my heart. You've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Yeah. Love me. Oh, love me. Hey, Searched my heart severally. You are just the right person for me. And I'm glad you said yes to me. To us. <laughs> Tells me that both of you are here to tell me something. Come on, let's hear what you have to say. Uh, well, I must say that the, the something really told you, right? Yeah. Well, we are here to tell you that um, we are actually planning to, to get married. Yes, Uncle. <laughs> wow. That's really good. Thank you. I must tell you, this union is blessed right from the beginning. <laughs> you can say that again. You see, uh, Oloma is the woman after my heart. So, it's right we do the needful as soon as possible. I love to hear that. <laughs> I love to hear that. Thank you. But, Uncle, uh, there's a little problem. Which is? My mother. You know. Your mother? Yeah. What about? You know, she's after my, my father's dying wish. To marry Princess Clara? Exactly. Don't worry about that. I will visit her and talk to her. Oh, thank you so much. Mm. Thank, thank you. you so much. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this is good. 
In fact, it calls for celebration. Let me just get something for you. Why would you like to take? I'm coming. Thank you. Hello, man. I'm uh, happy. <laughs> Greetings, my queen. Tell the cook to get the list ready. Okay, my queen. Greetings, mom. Mom. Not again. I'm the happiest man on earth. She accepted my proposal. Have you found Clara? Mom, please. Do not be a joy killer. Alright? Come on, we need your consent, Mom. I will never consent to it. Why, Mom? Oloma has my child. All I need is your blessings. Read my lips. You can only marry that daughter of a nobody over my dead and buried body. Why, Mom? Why are you talking like this, though? Why? Look at you. I don't know how a blue blood got interwoven by a non entity. That non entity has my child. And our fate can never be intertwined. I have told you this severally, Mom. All I need is your blessings. This is the woman I love. Mom, mom, you don't have to be like this, really. Right. Uncle, please, I want you to come here. Come now if you can, please, come and talk to my mother. I would have been to the palace today, but I drove home straight from the hospital. Yes. Yeah. I have a hectic day. I was very, very tired. No problem. I promise you, I will be there first thing tomorrow morning. On my way to the hospital, I will branch. Do not worry. No, she's insisting that I, I'm not going to marry a non-entity. Okay. But my prince, seriously, why did you not tell Her Majesty that uh, Oloma is my late wife's uh, daughter? Uh, yes. Just try to calm the situation down. I will be there tomorrow morning. That's no problem. Please, uncle, please. Please, I don't want to lose it. Come and talk to her. Okay, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you. Your Majesty. Yes. I have decided to give up the throne. Yes, you hit me clearly, Mom. If this is what royalty is all about, then. I am no longer interested. <laughs> Affirm me for now. You are threatening me, right? Now, leave my room before I lay a curse on you. Far from that, Mom. 
I just told you what I want. There's no going back on that. I don't want anything that would pose as a threat to Uloma and I. That includes the throne of Umuchu Kingdom. I am no longer interested, and that's fine now. Every woman must become a widow someday. My king, why are you sounding like this? I must answer this clarion call. My strength is leaving me. Make sure you take care of my children and my subjects. Also, make sure that our son turns a good king. One more important thing. Do everything you can to make sure that our son, Afamifuna, marries the princess of Isuku Kingdom. To cement the relationship and business I have with Igwe Ugonabo. As my king, I will do everything in my power to say that your wish is granted. I will. I wish not to be fulfilled. Oh, I can't be alive. I see Afame Funa, the prince of Umoju, not getting married to the princess of Isubu. No more doubt. We are not God. That is why he disposes after we propose. Mother, please, let Afame Funa follow him. I beg you. No. Let the body know they talk. No. Let the body know they take choices. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Be mindful what you wish for. Oh, 
To you, my queen. Yes, queen mother. What about the dream? Is dead. What? What did you just say? She drank poison. <laughs> she drank poison. Yeah. Where is her cause? supposed to contribute in royal family but because of the dream I had please Queen Mother have everything please my Queen allow the Prince to follow his heart please I'm begging you please I should go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, good mother. Let the body know they talk. Let the body know they take choice. Oh. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Be mindful what you wish for. Please, don't go. I beg you. I, I am sorry. Sorry. I will go. 
consent to this. Please. I can't stand not to see my grandchild. I beg you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Do you want me to kneel? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. Please. Forgive me. Come. Come, sweetheart. Come sit with me. Oh, love my man. 